What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how I could take like an audio recording that I'm going to record in my microphone, send it over to iClone with a character that I made in Character Creator, and have it automatically do a lip sync to my character. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So what you're looking at right now is Character Creator 3. This is a character that I've been working on based off my own headshot here. And so what I did from here to be able to add lip sync to this character is I went up to File. And then I just came over to export and then I'm going to send character to iClone, which I already did because it takes like a second to send over. But once you do, this is what you're going to get here. So I'm going to zoom in to my figure a little bit here just so we can see pretty much around the lip area because we're going to add audio, which I'm going to say into the microphone and have it automatically sync to our character here. So his lips are moving as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to come up here at the top and I'm going to come over to animation. And I'm going to come down to create script. And now we have a couple of different options here. We have record voice, which I'm going to use. We have text to speech, which I haven't used before. And then we have audio file, which I have used before. So with audio file, if you have like an MP3 or a WAV format, you can actually pre-record something and then drop that in. But what I'm going to do is something completely live. So I'm going to come over here to record voice. And I'm going to record this on a fly. So it's already hooked up to my microphone right here. And now I'm going to recite some lyrics from one of my favorite groups out there, the Wu-Tang Clan. Here we go. So I'm going to hit record here. I bomb automatically. Socrates' philosophies are hypotheses. Can't describe how I'll be dropping these mockeries. Lyrically performed armed robberies. Flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. By the scar show gun. Explosion when my pen hits. Tremendous. Ultraviolet shine blind forensics. I expect view through the future. See millennium. Killer bees sold 50 gold, 60 platinum. So there we go. Once you're done, you hit the stop on there. And then you just click OK. Come down here where it says real time. I click the play button. You should hear it back. Hopefully I have it set up and everything where you can hear the lip sync with the character here. I bomb automatically. Socrates' philosophies are hypotheses. Can't describe how I'll be dropping these mockeries. Lyrically performed armed robberies. Flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. By the scar show gun. Explosion when my pen hits. Tremendous. Ultraviolet shine blind forensics. I expect view through the future. See millennium. Killer bees sold 50 gold, 60 platinum. So there we go. So that's very cool how I could take like an audio recording from my voice into my character. And you can only imagine what we could do once we start adding some mocap onto there and actually getting like the body gestures and everything to go along with it. So the one thing you might notice is the lip syncing isn't 100%. You can actually go in there and physically move it around a little bit so you can make it a little bit more accurate. So if I come up the window, come over to workspace and then come down to animation, that's going to bring my timeline down here and let me drag this up a little bit because under one of these switches, I should be able to actually add like the lip sync library in here. So let me move this all the way to the beginning of my timeline here. There we go. But you find your character and then you'll have like a down arrow here. So I'm going to click on this and right here where it says Vizim, I think that's how you say it, Vizim or Vizim. I'm going to click on this. And this is actually going to bring our audio layer up. And if I do that down arrow here, once I have Vizim in here, you can see that we actually have like these little mouth movements and everything. So if I double click on it, like right here, it thinks that I see a TH word. And so it brings up this little lip sync library here where you can actually go in and manually put it in where you think it's going to be. So say like I said, an E word here, if I double click on it, it's going to add that in there instead. So it's going to make your lip move accordingly. So let me go to a different spot here where we don't have anything maybe around there. See, I clicked ER and now you're seeing that my face moved accordingly. So if you actually wanted to go in and manually do this and make it a lot more accurate, you have the tools at your disposal to do so. So I just wanted to show you guys some cool stuff that I was doing in iClone. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff in here. I've been working a lot with Character Creator and doing some mocap stuff with iClone. So probably one of my next tutorials, I'm going to jump into the Rococo suit, do some mocap and show you guys how you can bring that in there. But hopefully this opened up your guys to some of the stuff that we could do in iClone that has a lot of powerful tools in there so if you thought this stuff was cool and interesting and you're new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button like and leave me a comment if you want to see me do some more real illusion stuff in there like i said i've been playing with character creator and iclone for a little bit now so i'm a little bit more comfortable in it and i want to do more tutorials there and if you do want to see that type of stuff leave me a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care